Hello and welcome to another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. I have with me here today the CTO of Kaspersky Lab, Mr. Nikolai Grabenikov. And I, Nikolai, I wanted to talk to you about uh, the changing face of the anti-malware product. Uh, you know, there's this false perception that antivirus and anti-malware technology is based on signatures. But that's, that's obviously a false perception. Can you talk a little bit about how uh, the products, uh, anti-malware products, has had to evolve to keep up with the changing face of the threats? And what are some of the very important components that has been added to anti-malware technology to make sure you, know, you move beyond signatures? Yeah, hello, Ryan. And uh, you're absolutely right. Right now, uh, signatures is just one of the layer in anti-malware uh, protection. And we've developed a lot of new layers. The most uh, important of them are heuristic and emulation when we try to understand what this particular application will do if we run it in the system. And after that, we can apply some what we call behavioral heuristics to detect uh, malware by behavior. It's very powerful technology because it's possible to detect the whole family of malware right. by just one or two signatures, behavioral signatures. Uh, at the same time, it's very important to add the um, proactive component of uh, analysis of execution of the files in the system in real time and uh, we do it with our system watcher component so we watch uh, on applications and try to see what it will do in the real system and uh, if we detect malicious behavior after some minutes of execution we can uh, roll back all the changes from the system and uh, moreover it's not enough to have just uh, signatures heuristics and um, some proactive defense in real time. It's also very important to uh, add URL, malicious URL detection, because in this case you can uh, block the whole set of malware which right, will right. be uploaded by bad guys to this URL. And um, additional components like sandbox and uh, host intrusion prevention policies uh, on endpoint machine. Uh, just get back to the system watcher for a second. To the average IT guy out there, he's not necessarily a, a malware analyst. Explain to him exactly what the System Watcher does and why, why it's an important component to what he's relying on. System Watcher is a protection component which uh, monitor the behavior of uh, all applications in the system except trusted ones and um, understand uh, the execution log all actions which, is, uh, which have been done by this application and uh, apply some heuristics based on our knowledge of what is malicious application, what is not ma non-malicious, and um, we can detect after you know, analysis of all these logs right. the bad behavior. At the same time, this log of actions of application is very useful when we have to roll back roll all back the changes point. from the system. And, and the URL uh, blocking component also becomes very, very important as you tie everything together. And, but you're not killing signatures either. I mean, signatures are getting smarter, uh, your signature database is still there, it's still an important component to it. And you've also been using the cloud to beef up the way signatures are distributed to end users. Can you talk a little bit about KSN and your cloud component? To yeah, we call it right now not KSN, but uh, cloud, right. Kaspersky Security Network. Right. And the idea here is very simple. We have more and more signatures in our databases and uh, taking into account whitelisting approach we also push right now. Right. Uh, we have to store all this data somewhere and uh, if you think about laptops uh, and smartphones and other devices, it's not so good idea to upload all these files, all these signatures right. to each device. And uh, we come to the idea to use cloud. So it's Kaspersky lab servers uh, in different parts of the world uh, and all our applications connect to these uh, servers and uh, ask when you, for example, run new application or download new executable right. application, uh, our Kaspersky Internet Security or Kaspersky Antivirus ask our Kaspersky Security Network about the reputation of this file and uh, in 40 minutes uh, we return, 40 seconds, sorry, we return answer and uh, process this request. Right, and that also helps you on the, the detection side if it's, a, if it's a new application that is potentially dangerous. The cloud can, can detect that and tell the rest of the, the, the user bases. That the sure, concept. very important part of the cloud, but we, it's not just one way road, right. it's two ways. And uh, we collect information about uh, some potentially dangerous uh, behaviors of applications from millions of machines and based on, on this information we can detect new malware even without having the body of the file in the lab 
just by analysis of this metadata and statistical right. data. It's very powerful technology. Uh, and another, another big layer and another big component is application control, uh, whitelisting. Talk a little bit about how you go about building this database uh, of good, good files and the importance of whether your database, whether you can build something on your own, whether you need to partner with you know, additional uh, uh, whitelisting companies, maybe download.com or some of the other databases to get that. How do you go about building your database? Yeah, Ryan, you touched a very interesting point because uh, we really believe that whitelisting is one of the key elements of uh, Kaspersky technology strategy. And um, if you think about the future, uh, a lot of new devices uh, like uh, your uh, CPU in uh, cars, uh, airplanes, uh, probably devices which control your heart right. and uh, other devices. In these cases, it's much better idea not to create a database of bad files, but create a database of good, good files. files and allow this application to run and block all other uh, execution of the s such systems. And uh, we built a whitelisting database we has been building this database since 2007. And you're and using the cloud to help with that. Yes, it? exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Because without cloud, it will be hard, uh, hard to, to use such big database. And we partner with a lot of companies. Uh, I can mention the Blizzard from gaming industry. Okay. Yeah, I can mention um, Hewlett Packard and uh, others, uh, companies who create new hardware and we download new right, drivers right, and right. all these things. And also, of course, we've partnered with Microsoft, Adobe and other companies. And uh, in many cases, we got information about new uh, files they are going to launch in nearest days in our database uh, before end user will have it on the machines. Excellent. And uh, it's not the only way how we add files to our whitelisting database. We also created crawlers to get data from sites like download.com and other sites uh, which collect information in the right, internet. Right, right. Other popular uh, uh, yeah. software repositories. And of course we use our Kaspersky security network to understand the prevalence of uh, white files and uh, what files are run on uh, machines right. of our users more often. How do you treat grey files, for instance? Files that, that you don't know what, whether it's clean or dirty? The main idea that uh, we have on our endpoint machines um, technology we call security rating to understand the level of risk for each unknown application and based on calculated level of risk we can apply host intrusion prevention policies to block the most dangerous, the most dangerous operations made by malware usually uh, like low level access to hard drive, getting your cable input and so on. At the same time, our goal is to decrease the number of unknown applications. And uh, in our lab, for example, we use technology um, to make gray application white based on database of white websites. And we try to understand uh. if this gray application is uh, on white website, we can say that it's white. And of course, we have very, very complex and complicated and very expensive right. uh, infrastructure to monitor and to calculate the reputation of all unknown files. Excellent. Thank you very much, Nick. And that's another thank you for watching another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. You can catch some of our other webcasts at uh, youtube.com slash Kaspersky. Thank you.